the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 177. Isaiah Handling International Relations The calling of Isaiah, who was sent to South Judah, was to turn the people away from their social evils and to re-establish them as God's people once more. First point. Regarding Israel's 500 years of monarchy, God made three conclusions. Abraham's descendants managed to enter the promised land sometime after Exodus. After that, they were able to live in this land for 350 years. During the era of the judges, and also 500 years after that. After Saul, David, and then Solomon, the country became divided into two. And then North Israel went on for 200 years. And South Judah went on for a further 150 years. God evaluated their 500 years of monarchy on three occasions. The first was during the days of Samuel that warned what monarchy would be like. The second was during Isaiah. The third was during Jeremiah. Second point, God's management of the world involved making Israel experience both high and low. God gave both highs and lows to the Israelites in war. Whenever they obeyed, God made them succeed. And whenever they disobeyed, God made them lose. To look at a few examples of success, one was between Moses and Egypt. There was also Joshua against the Canaanites, Gibeon against the Midianites, Samuel against the Philistines, and David and Solomon against the surrounding countries. To look at a few cases of failed wars, one was North Israel against Assyria, and the other South Judah against Babylon. Through Isaiah, God proclaimed that the whole world was his. God used Assyria as his tool. He used Assyria to punish North Israel and made them into mixed race people. Next, God used Babylon as his tool to punish South Judah and made the people into Babylon captives. Third, God used Persia as his tool to rule over Jerusalem. God's management of the world is like a coin with judgment on one side and salvation on the other. Back in the days of Abraham, God said, that his interest was on all nations, and that Abraham's descendants would become the channel of blessing to bless all nations. God used Moses to establish a kingdom of priests, and this framework contained all nations. Third point, during the time those Israel fell, Isaiah was called as the prophet of South Judah. In 8th century BC, Amos and Hosea ministered in North Israel, and Isaiah and Micah ministered in South Judah. The Assyrian Empire had started around that time, and as for Rome, the legend of Romulus and Remus was being formed. Isaiah was an esteemed scholar of the time. Isaiah was well learned in God's laws and also someone who was able to read the political wind of the time. He ministered during the monarch of Ahaz and Hezekiah. Isaiah's early ministry was made difficult by Ahaz, and his later ministry was busy, as he had to help Hezekiah from Assyria. Isaiah spoke a lot about the coming of the Messiah, as well as about God's judgment and the surrounding countries. Isaiah emphasized God's mercy and remnant. 
South Judah's punishment was outright by God through Isaiah. The first was that they offered pointless offerings. What God looked for can be seen through what he said through Samuel. The second was that they did a great deal of evil. God told the people to repent. God said that he would wipe away their sins on the condition that they repented and this was the theme of Isaiah. God categorized those who repented and those who did not. Those who repented were his holy people. Those who did not repent were destined to perish. Fourth point, the prophet Isaiah spoke of the coming kingdom of God. The kingdom of God explained through Isaiah had the following content. The first was that it contained all nations. The second was that it was full of peace. The kingdom of God did not have swords and battles, but rather contained land and agriculture. In other words, battles would come to an end and all would be at peace. God explained this through Isaiah and then warned the people of the punishment that would come their way if they did not repent. These were God's words, Would to you who long for the day of the Lord. Why do you long for the day of the Lord? That day will be darkness, not light. Isaiah proclaimed the punishment on the people who served idols and lost their humility. If they repented from their arrogant ways, then they would have a chance of living in peace. They would be able to dream of God's salvation. Fifth point, Isaiah rebuked the sins of the leaders of South Judah who led their people in the way of evil. Through Isaiah, God rebuked the faults of the leaders of South Judah. God said that they were responsible for leading the people into evil ways. God warned that the people would not have any food and that the leaders would be put down and there would be a lot of confusion in society. During those times, the priests abused the system of the kingdom of priests in order to become wealthy. People also worshipped idols and ignored God's words. God proclaimed that the prosperity of the leaders would be taken away from them. During those times, women dressed extravagantly and were arrogant from their material goods. God proclaimed that this was their arrogance. They loved material goods more than they loved God, and the humbleness was nowhere to be found. When the day of God's judgment came, the whole world would be confused, and these materials would become worthless. The reason why they had to endure ridicule return was because of such arrogance. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.